I don't know if you know this or not, but people are upset. They're they're expecting a Spider-Man trailer and they haven't had one yet for the the third Homecoming film, Far From Home or No Way Home or Homeward Bound, Home on the Range, Home is Where the Heart Is. I don't know, Home Alone. One of them, the Doctor Strange one with with supposedly the multiverse and all the other Spider-Mans that are going to be in it, but probably not, but probably will be because Disney saw what's going on online. They're like, shit, we got to fucking film some new stuff. That one. Here's my hot take on the situation. I don't want a trailer. Is that aggressive? Yeah, but I'm an aggressive person sometimes. If you're gonna give me a trailer though, make it short. Make it like 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Just do like a slow pan of Spider-Man's face and then the title, that's all I need. Maybe one or two shots from the film and that's it. The problem is trailers suck. I can't speak to the 80s or 90s. I can only speak for what I'm seeing with my own eyeballs right now, but I know there was a time, movies like Alien did this really well, where you would get one teaser trailer, and that was it. That was the whole thing. And that Alien trailer, I highly suggest watching if you haven't. Maybe I'll throw a clip up here if I'm not if I'm not too lazy. I could do that for you, I suppose. Essentially, though, it was all about vibe. It was all about tone. You knew it took place in space on a ship. You knew that the crew was under distress, and that was it. In space, no one can hear you scream. Powerful tagline, a powerful set of images, a powerful score. You're in the theaters, packed. It did its job. The fuck is going on upstairs? I'm in a padded studio down here and it sounds like someone has a jackhammer right above my head drilling. I don't know if that's picking up on the mic, but I certainly can't keep going until that stops. How about those, how about those Knicks? It's a team, right? I don't follow sports. Okay, it sounds like it ended for now. Is she blending something? Is she revving up a motorcycle in the living room? What is going on? Okay, my point is completely gone. I, uh, okay, I, wow. Off track, don't know what my point was other than, I think we're on the same page, right? Movies, they, they show too much in the trailers. Revenue and art. How do we blend these two? and make it so that the audiences don't get the whole load shot before they get into the, the, the big screen theater. How do we give them just enough to nibble on so that they have the main course when they get in? Let's give them an appetizer, not the full entree, not the full meal plus dessert. One of the major problems that the new Spider-Man's not having, because I think it comes on like four months, is that movie trailers come out years in advance sometimes. So you get a teaser, you get a trailer, you get a second trailer, you get a whole bunch of TV spots, you get press junkets, you get actor behind the scene conversations with movie previews thrown into it, you get so much shit you have seen half the movie before you're even there. One of the major big ones that really bothered me was Thor, where they showed Hulk in the trailer. That was brutal! Imagine seeing that for the first time in theaters and going, oh shit, this is happening, isn't it? This is awesome. Maybe somebody did. Maybe you avoided all the trailers that came out. Now, another big problem that we are facing is, of course, social media. It's very hard to avoid all this stuff. And as soon as some jackass gets a, a, a screener and sees the film a week early, that stuff gets leaked. That stuff's online. Or it's leaked ahead of time, so maybe the studios are like, you know what, they're gonna find out, we might as well put it in the trailer. Then again, that's not really also the case because we saw that Infinity War and Endgame kept shit tight-lipped. We've seen that with the Star Wars movies as well. They can do it if they want to. They can put out NDAs, they can sue people or go after people if they put up videos that uh, aren't supposed to be up there. Disney has the power to do it. And it's not just Disney, it's all these studios doing this shit. Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, Fallen Franchise. They showed so much of that trailer, it was ridiculous. I was sick of the movie before I even went to the thing. There's some trailers that are just so good, it makes me wish that more of them came out. Like 300, I remember watching that preview and thinking, oh my god, what is this amazing film? And I got exactly what I paid for when I saw the final product. Sin City was the same way. I'd even argue the trailer was better than the movie. With that awesome soundtrack in the background and those cool visuals. I don't even think the movie lived up to the hype of the trailer. But now it's just so 
obvious what you're gonna get. There's no surprises hardly. If you watch movie trailers, they almost always splice up the video like the final product. So the movie will start out with the first five or 10 minutes of the film. The trailer will, sorry. Halfway through the preview, you're gonna get the meat of the movie. And by the end of the preview, you're actually getting end scenes from the movie. They rarely take it out of order anymore. It's like, this is what you're gonna start with. This is where it's gonna go. And this is how it's gonna end. I've been doing this for the last couple of years, but I will avoid trailers whenever possible. Or at least when I have any sort of interest in the film and don't want anything ruined. It's really hard though, especially with these big companies and when they release the trailer footage because you have to avoid so much more than just the movie trailer. You have to avoid Twitter, you have to avoid Facebook if you're on Facebook. You have to avoid YouTube videos where they put the shit right in the thumbnail. Oh, there's Hulk from Thor, cool. Sure glad I avoided those trailers for six months only to have some dickweed ruin it one week before the movie releases, thanks. To me, it looks like the focus has changed. The, the dynamic is gone. There's no more balance between art and revenue. Art is gone, it's revenue. You put everything in that trailer that could potentially increase sales. That's why you get Hulk in that Thor trailer. He's gonna increase sales. That's why more than likely, when we do get that Spider-Man trailer, we'll get the teaser, and then maybe a day before the freaking movie comes out, you're gonna see that clip of Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire shaking hands or something, or maybe they'll wait a, a week until the movie hits theaters. Then they'll do that for people that weren't able to get out early. There's no question in my mind at this point that if there's any sort of blood to drain from the stone, they're gonna go for it. Regardless if that ruins some of the experience for people going to the theaters. Now, not every movie trailer does this. There's still plenty of good ones out there that give you just enough information to go on. Usually it's by smaller studios. A24 does a really good job at this. They'll give you just fast glimpses of stuff, a lot of the chaos so that you don't really know what's happening. Sometimes you don't even know what's happening after you've seen the movie. Uh, so they're a, a prime example of doing it right. Uh, there, there's other ones as well, but for the most part, when you get to these bigger studios, they just don't care at all. Those are my thoughts on movie trailers and why they just suck ass now. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know, do you agree, disagree? We'll talk about it, we'll chat about it. Call me. Like the video if you had a good time, subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks again for watching the video. If you made it this far, it's because you might have been interested in this whole thing or you left the phone and went and did something better with your day, which is also fair and understandable. But if it's the first thing, maybe think about supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. You can also join me right here on YouTube via the join button. So there's a, there's a few options for you or just share the video and we'll, we'll call it even. Take care.